Man. Yes. So, you want me to tattoo hair on your back? <laughs> no. I want the name Cindy inside of a heart. Listen, man. Is this Cindy like a dog or something? <laughs> no. She's my girlfriend. Look, let me tell you something a lot of people don't know about tattoos. They're permanent. <laughs> what? Everybody knows that. Look, we're going to be together forever. Tell you what. Make you a deal. If you two break up, I get your tattoo. I told you so next to the heart. <laughs> Cindy, heart, arrow. Shh. Tam, we need to talk about us. Well, it sounds like you got some really great news, so go ahead. I think we should break up. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Just four days ago, you were telling me how great things were going. Yeah. That was... Four days ago. <laughs> I'm a completely different woman now. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Why well, can't still be really, really, really good? <laughs> so, you know when you go to a tattoo parlor on a Friday night and you get your girlfriend's name tattooed on your back, but then she breaks up with you before you can even show it to her? Yeah? Well, I wouldn't know, because who could pass at this face? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> As Tim is faced with the struggles of finding a new relationship, he reminds us that something as little as a tattoo should not stop us from pursuing the person we love. The Search for Cindy by Tim Kokenderfer. Matt, thanks for coming. Dude, I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble, man. I left a patient in the middle of open heart surgery <laughs> and rushed right here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the reason why I need to talk to you. All right, but before you go on, let me go grab some water, all right? Cool. Hey, Morgis. <laughs> What's your name? Tim. <laughs> Listen, Tim, I'm in town for a supermodel convention, and I was just really lonely and looking for someone to spend some time with. My supermodel powers tell me you're him. Well, uh, what's your name? Julia. <laughs> Julia, would you ever consider changing your name to Cindy? No, there's no way I'd change it. Then I'm sorry. I don't think this could work out. Oh. Dude! There are people starving in El Salvador. <laughs> Can that away? I got Cindy's name tattooed on my back. Instead of a heart, with arrows. Bro, so like, why didn't you get it removed or changed? I tried, but the tattoo artist refused. Then when I went to the other tattoo shop, they wouldn't do it either. Gnarly. <laughs> hey, isn't that Ho Myers? Oh man, that is her. Oh my gosh, Tim. Tim Cockroach Surfer? <laughs> yeah, uh, Hope? Oh my gosh, what have you been up to? <laughs> Are you like, married now? <laughs> no, I actually just got out of a relationship. I just got out of a relationship too, how funny. <laughs> Why don't we ever get together? Tell you what, I'll make it up to you. Let's go out to dinner sometime. Dinner, oh, yeah, that, that, that that'd be great. So, Saturday eight? Sounds great, see you then. I can't wait. Now what do I do? What if she sees my tattoo? Then what do I tell her? That I've named my back Cindy? <laughs> Listen, bro, you'll figure it out. Look, I gotta go. I got a pancreatic surgery tomorrow at noon, so it's probably best to reach me then. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So wonderful y'all to join us here at Casa de Asla. Now before we eat, I'd like to ask you all to engage in our traditional creed dinner dance. So if everyone could just stand. Good, good. Now I'd like to ask the gentlemen to remove their shirts, please. <laughs> I can't, it won't come off. Oh, 
Do we have a shy American among us this evening? <laughs> yes. Well, take it off. Good. Now, everyone, extend your arms completely out to your sides, put your knees together, and let your hips swivel. <laughs> good. Good. So good. <laughs> now, on the count of three, just the ladies, turn so you're facing your gentleman's back. One, two, three. Um, I don't think you're supposed to turn yet. I know, I'm, uh, uh, improvising. Sir, would you be so kind as to turn so you're facing your lady's back? I'm improvising. There is no improvisation in Iceland. You are perverting our culture. We have never served a meal at Casa de Iceland without doing the traditional pre dinner dance. Oh yeah? If you're from Iceland, then why do you have a southern accent? Mind your own damn business. <laughs> Hope, I'm sorry. This is a bad idea. I don't think this could work out. What? Why not? I think you're an amazing person. I just don't think we're amazing together. Well, what's it say? You are in great danger of losing something very important. At least at a local level for a woman. Well, I've already lost two. No, no, no. That is still hope. What? That can't be. I've lost hope. I'm limited to only Cindy's because of the stupid heart on my back. I don't know what the hell you just said. <laughs> I got a tattoo on my back. It's a heart. And inside of it, the name Cindy. Now I can only date girls named Cindy. Look, I say just what with whoever you like. If the tattoo is a problem, blame it on destiny. Look, that's some really great advice you gave me. I gotta go. To whom it may concern, I am moving to Sudan. Don't try and follow me. I've taken a really complicated route. Love, hope. P.S. I suppose if I didn't want you to follow me, I wouldn't have said where I was going. <laughs> oh well, it's off to the train station. We've got a 7.30 to catch. See ya. <laughs> hope. Oh God. Shh. Hope. Tim, what are you doing here? Why are you going to Sudan? Because Tim, I'm tired. I'm tired of making the wrong choices. In Sudan, there is no freedom. Your parents decide who you marry. You know you don't even have to worry about picking a religion. Hope, I won't let you leave. Maybe this will work out. Before, I was just worried that if you found something out about me, you wouldn't like me. Tim, there is nothing that would make me not like you. Well, Except maybe if you had some other girl's name tattooed on your back or something. <laughs> <laughs> I should just tell you. Dun, dun. Cindy Myers, is there a Cindy Myers? Cindy Myers, we are looking for a Cindy Myers. Cindy Myers. I'm Cindy Myers. What? Yes, Mrs. Myers. We have accidentally given you a ticket to Southfield, which is about 10 feet to your left. You can keep that ticket if you want, or we can give your ticket to Sudan. Um, can you give us a minute? I'll be back in approximately 60 seconds. Why'd you tell me your name was Cindy? Mm, because it is. Hope is just a nickname. My parents gave it to me when I was little. They would always say, I hope Cindy doesn't break anything, or I hope Cindy doesn't get another D on her test. <laughs> Pretty soon, they just started calling me Hope. So, what did we decide? I will Southfield. Southfield it is. Make it two.